Walter, you and I are presenting the award for children's picture book. Ah, oh, yes, President Bush's favorite category. <laughs> You know, Al Gore just won a Quill Award. Well, if he's really into recycling, then he should give it back. <laughs> yeah, we have many celebrities here tonight. Oh, yeah, and a weatherman. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, what a great gig Al has on the Today Show. Yeah, what, it's, like, it's raining and there's some fog in Texas. Back to you, Matt. <laughs> well, some, of, some parts of his job are difficult. Like what, when they make him go outside? <laughs> Well, sometimes he pr travels to places. Oh, yeah, I love that. The hurricane is making landfall, and we go live to Al Roker, who has duct taped himself to a palm tree. <laughs> Al, are you there? Ah! <laughs> Why don't we talk about the awards we're presenting? Oh, okay, that sounds fine, whatever. All right. The nominees in our next category, Children's Picture Book, are helping turn the next generation onto reading by cleverly combining words and pictures. Like USA Today. <laughs> Now, this year's nominees for children's picture book are... Why don't you do it? Okay, fine. I can read a prompter. All right. Emily Gravette for Orange Pear Apple Bear. Right. Minnie Gray. For The Adventures of the Dish and the Spoon. Mm -hmm. Isabel Hatkoff and Craig Hatkoff for Owen and Nunze, The Language of Friendship. Jane O'Connor. For Fancy Nancy and the Posh Puppy. Right. David Wiesner for Flotsam. Yeah. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, the Quill Award goes to, and we pre-tore this envelope because he can only use one hand. <laughs> He's used to that. <laughs> the Quill Award? Ah, the Quill Award goes to David Wiesner for Flotsam. <laughs> This is a really wonderful bit of flotsam to come my way, and I thank everyone who voted for it. I'd like to thank um, my wife, Kim, my kids, Kevin and Jamie, Dillis Evans, Carol Goldenberg, and particularly my editor, Dinah Stevenson, and everyone at Clarion Books. Thank you very much.